With the rising popularity of anamorphic lenses, people are having more questions on how to use it with your footage. If you notice, if you take a look at regular anamorphic footage, you can see on the y-axis, everything seems to be very stretched out. When we take a closer look at an anamorphic lens, such as the Surui 50mm, you'll notice that it has an oval-shaped element. Now, this allows you to capture things in a much more different perspective. For example, the number one thing you're gonna see in anamorphic lenses is anamorphic flares. Now, I did a full review on the Surui anamorphic lens. Go ahead and check it out right here. But today, I'm gonna to be showing you how to de-squeeze anamorphic footage. So here we are in Final Cut Pro. Don't worry, if you have Adobe Premiere Pro, this is going to be exactly the same way for that program too. So there's two different ways on doing this. One is the really cheap, fast, quick way. The other way is a lot more calculated and it's actually what cinematographers want more. So let me show you the quick and easy cheap way. So here's my anamorphic clips. So here's one right here. You can see how squeezed it is. And what we wanna do, we want to de-squeeze it. But first, let me extend this clip. I'm gonna slow it down really quick just so we make it look nicer. By the way, I did a full speed ramping tutorial and uh, how to slow footage down. I did like that whole entire process. You can check out that tutorial right here, but I'm just speeding through that process. But basically here's how we're gonna quickly do it. Select the clip, go to the clips properties under transform, which is right here, go to scale and just type in 75%. Done, that's it. Now you'll also notice that we have these black letter boxes here. This is actually not really black, it's transparent. So if I were to put another clip right under this one, you'll notice that you have that other clip bleeding through the first clip. So what we wanna do, we want to add a background. So I'm gonna go to my generators here, and then I'm just gonna search for a background. Nice solid color here. It can be any color you want, but usually it's either black or white. So we're just gonna switch it to black. And there you go. Now you have de-squeezed footage. Now I'm gonna show you the more calculated way. Now this is what your DP and director and producer really want. They don't want this cheap and quick and easy way. This is just for, you know, run and gun, like you quickly need to export something. So let's go ahead and open up a new project here. We're gonna go to new project. Now we're gonna change the resolution here. It's actually not going to be 4K or it's not going to be 3840 by 2860. Instead, it's gonna be slightly different. Now remember earlier in the video, I mentioned that it's a 1.33 times anamorphic lens. That's actually on the horizontal axis. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna go to our calculator here. We're gonna do a little bit of math. So we're gonna take 3840, which is our horizontal, 3840, and we're gonna multiply that by 1.33. We are going to get 5107.2. We're gonna get rid of that 0.2 and just stick with 5107. So what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go back to my project, I'm gonna hit on custom, and then I'm gonna type in 5107, and now I'm typing in 2160, which is the regular height for 4K footage. Then press enter. All right, you'll notice that the preview box is a lot wider than usual. Now all we have to do is just drag and drop our footage and then you'll notice that we still have these little black boxes on the side. All we have to do now is go to the X axis and put in 133. Done. Now you have anamorphic footage de-squeezed. And this is just the footage here and it looks really good. So anamorphic is definitely a great lens choice to use. It's getting very popular. So if you wanna check out the Surui anamorphic lens, check out the link down below, along with all the other camera gear that I'm using. And hit me up on Instagram too. I post a lot of BTS videos there of my shoots. And I also do a lot of Instagram lives where you can ask me questions live. And yeah, we can just chat back and forth right there. All right guys, I'll see you in the next video.